Welcome to CW 1.1. This semester we're going to start by studying matrices. So you might have heard that word before, matrices. It's the plural for matrix. So that's our topic of study. And the first thing you want to know is that matrices are kind of special. So what I want you to do is think of this dot as u. And think of this dot as also the math you know as well. All right, so in this dot right here, imagine you like really look at it. This contains everything you've been studying, everything in pre-calc, everything you can ever think of in math. Now, the reality of math is that there's actually a lot of stuff around it. If you imagine this as the world of math, matrices are kind of special. Matrices are actually another world. So even though you might have heard of it, it actually isn't really in the world of math you've been studying. Matrices are like a little world over here. And there are actually lots of worlds of math that you'll study if you continue math in college. But you have to understand that the math that you've been studying, this little bitty piece, is only a very small fraction of the math world. And I'm going to broaden your understanding by going into matrices to start the second semester of pre-calc. So first, let's go into a couple of basic things. Here's a matrix right here. The first question is, what is the order? So you're going to highlight order. Think of the order as basically the dimensions. So for A, it's basically saying the dimensions are m by n. So think of M as the rows, and then N is going to be your columns. So the order, I can see this has two rows and three columns, so you write two by three. Now for B, it says A sub I comma J. So some people write it like this, A I comma J, because it makes it a little more clear to look at. Essentially, this is referring to a particular element inside of the matrix. So I is referring to your row, and J is referring to your column entry. So for example, I'm going to write A 2 comma 3, or 2 3. That's referring to the second row, this row, third entry, so right here. So A23 is simply negative 1 over 5. And then A12, again, notice I'm saying 1, 2 rather than 12. That's how I like the comma. 1, 2 is referring to first row, so first row, second column. So that's right here. That's going to be 2. Now let's go to the next one. Adding and subtracting matrices. This is actually pretty intuitive. So A is going to be pretty easy. You basically just copy the same dimensions here as a 2 by 3. And just add the appropriate element. So 0 adds a negative 2. That's negative 2. 5 adds to 3. That would be 8. And 3 adds to 5. That would be 8. So it's pretty intuitive. So next row is going to be 5, negative 3, negative 2. So again, notice how we're just basically matching these up. So pretty straightforward. And for B, it's the exact same thing. You just do the same thing we just did, except you subtract. So you're going to match this element with this element. Negative 6 minus negative 5, that's a negative 1. 7 minus 6 is 1, 2 minus 0 is 2, negative 3 minus negative 4 is going to be 1, and that's it. Next, we have scalar multiplication. So highlight that word scalar. Essentially, that means we're going to just multiply a constant into our matrix. So negative 5b, negative 5 times the b matrix, which is that whole thing right there. You distribute the negative 5 to everything. So that's going to be negative 10, 
15, negative 25, and 30. And you're done. B, so that says 2a plus 3b, so let's just do that. 2a, we can do that in our head. That's negative 2, 8, 6, and 0. 3b, again, let's do that in our head. That'd be 6, negative 9, 15, and negative 18. We'll combine that now, and we get 4, negative 1, 21, negative 18. Now here's the last one. It says solve for matrix, solve for X. So notice how X, this is a matrix. It's not like a single number. So that's what I mean by we're in a new world of math. So variables now in this world will represent the matrix. So it says solve for X in the matrix equation. So you see it right here. So what's really cool about matrix world is there is still a matrix algebra. And that follows the same rules that we understand for the most part. Some things will change, but for now, it's pretty similar to what you know. To solve for x here, you would subtract a, so that's b minus a, and then we can multiply by 1 half. So that would be x is equal to 1 half b minus a. So that's how you'd solve for x. And notice how I'm basically following all the rules we've been doing. And later on, I'm going to get more deep into how this works. But for now, let's write that down and understand that that's matrix algebra. So to get x, we're going to just follow those instructions. x is 1 half b minus a. So 1 half matrix b. Let's do this in our head. So take this one, subtract this one. So negative 6 minus 1, negative 7. 5 minus negative 5 is 10. 9 minus 0 is 9. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And there's our matrix. Put it in. Negative 7 over 2, 5, 9 over 2, negative 1 over 2. And there's our answer.